hello welcome back to my channel and i'm gonna continue my previous video um today i think i'm gonna steal more code from this website um i love the animation when we when i click the menu mobile uh, button so the text is changed and then the icon is changed too um, if you see on the console when i click the um, this icon this menu icon and it will add a class show class name show to um, uh, two element i think this and this see that is a show class name and let's see okay and i'm gonna find out uh, where the code the javascript code that um save to run this uh, function so maybe 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 just maybe here is not Let's open here and we just find the show and nothing then that's not the right one. Okay we have show here animation model box not <coughs> not this um model box not animation model box not oh there is so much i think this is the plug in the use like they use slick uh slider slick sl slider and what else they are using i think i will search by Um, that maybe they target the class name here so when the when the button with a class name uh, this class name maybe maybe this class name click then they they will it will add a class name to its element so I will try to find this uh, nope nope Hmm, let's find other javascript file <coughs> This, um, not I think this is not maybe on the header it is maybe they have the jquery and interesting or maybe i can find the ps, the, the text since they open the new text on this element so when you click here it's changed the, the text is changed from menu to to tup. so let's find it nope ah nope hmm let's see on our source or network and then we're gonna find the javascript and let's find let's find something here oh wait, wow wait, what is this what is this 
frame bar yeah i think the classes is frame something frame yeah 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 here frame bar um okay yeah, we we got one i think so here if the has class show text to tube so if the element with the with the class name uh dtk menu canal has a class show where is the menu canal dtk ah here dtk uh, the d T K frame bar menu canal has show and then uh, on this element with class name the T K frame bar menu text the text will change to tutup if else or if this and uh, the T frame menu uh, the T K frame bar menu canal doesn't has a class show and then it will and it will uh, open the text uh, menu yeah i think i need this one and let's open up our <coughs> open up our uh, code editor and let's see we have asset we have uh, asset phone and i'm gonna create a folder here gs and then just mm, maybe let's custom gs and then here function menu but okay i remember that if uh, the jquery using no conflict mode so what i need to do is there is a website uh, i i think <laughs> I think this is not a secret, but yeah, you can just Google it and you will find the code here. If you're listening to load the script in the header, you will probably know. No, 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 no. I'm gonna. I need the script loaded on footer. So. Something like this. Oops. Oi. Oh. Why? Okay, here. <coughs> and let's see. And let's see. Let's include our JavaScript. And this WPNQU script. And let's uh, name it my custom gs eh nah it's my custom get style shit directory yuri asset to change this to to the actual path and custom dot gs and since we need the jquery so we need to um include the dependency of this file to array jquery yeah i think this is is this <laughs> the 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 right the right co uh, the right function let's test it i'm not sure Where is the custom? Yeah, we have the custom here. But it loaded on the uh, on the header, right? So what I need to do is add a two. Then let's see. Okay, <laughs> why is still uh, on top ah, let's googling and key you script header wordpress okay let's go to the the 
WordPress website and see all right hmm So let's test it like this. <coughs> yeah, I think true is um, which means we include the script, the file on the footer, I think. <coughs> All right, here is the working code. So we have loaded our custom script on footer. And then let's see. We need to have the first thing is the button with ah uh, oh no 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 this is the wrapper the mobile menu wrapper if if you see here I think let's see oh yeah here this is the me mm, mobile menu wrapper and here is the mobile button so let's see <coughs> our mobile menu icon yeah let's see custom dtk frame bar menu i have the I, I already have this element with the class name uh, dtk frame bar menu text here but i don't have the element the mobile menu element with this class name so let's see um let's create element um section let's name it section mobile menu and then add class to this zip Okay, and let's see <coughs> DTK from the menu icon click ah nothing happened why ah I see I see this maybe Ah, here window click function yeah 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 I need to include this okay here jika menu kamu ya menu icon ya user native icon I think we don't have uh, we don't need I don't need this uh, for now menu icon, menu kanal, menu icon, menu text ya yeah. oke okay. oh, 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 that's cool oke okay. so they change this oh, they use a text function on the javascript and then toggle class function and then yeah just add uh, just some uh, remove class function yeah it's okay it's cool anyway i will change this later since i don't wanna people made f uh, at me why you still code well if i change this to this i think it's not it's it will cool it will it will it will fine anyway um let's add i we need add some classes here so when there is new class which is a show 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 class name then here we have we need to include uh, we need to add a css2 
and go to the style I can show okay here oops I can uh, here I can show we're gonna just copy and paste all thing you can before you can show ah here I can show I can show before I can show menu icon menu icon show menu icon show yeah I think I need to press here okay and then um here there is a show class name here so I need to R2 here I need to copy this again and I think I will move here show span okay I'm gonna move this to the top span okay cool and then let's find other okay, here is the second child show the second child of I think that's the the second line you see the, the burger icon there is one two three this will uh, change the CSS on the second child of the burger icon second child and then let's see yeah it, eh, now Oh yeah, we have here. Okay. And then what else? Do we have this? Nah. Nope. Okay, let's. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. But why the 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 button doesn't doesn't has a background color gray I think this is gray ah we have a hover here I can show yeah this is show everything every class name uh, which has a show class name we need to city what's this I can show I can show show hover I can show hover, show before, show span. Okay. All right. Let's refresh and see. Ah. Okay. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. Yeah. When it hover. Ah yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, any I want to change it so hover background. Okay, so when the hover opacity is one, background is no, nothing. So let's just force that to hover. In here, no. It's the pseudo class, is right? The background show hover opacity. Why? Ah, here. So when hover opa opacity is show before. All right. So I need to change this opacity zero to one. Uh, two hundred three. Line two hundred three. Where is the ah here? Two hundred the opacity zero. Hover? Nah. All right. 
I just delete that and just paste here. Ah yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, but if I click out, yeah, yeah. Ah yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because now where's that? We have a propagate function. Prevent fault in here. I think this fa this two function um, make uh, if I if we click outside the uh, let's see outside this element, it will uh, toggle the classes. Yeah, but let's say if I click, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even if I click inside the element, it's just close itself. I mean, I will fix it later. Anyway, um, okay. Let's see again. And click. Okay, here we have working show show. And what's what's the CSS they? used to uh, to the mobile uh, container or mobile wrapper here can I show left zero okay ah uh, so before they have a hundred minus hundred percent left it's fixed and but if uh, if the element has a class name show the the left uh, value will change to zero, so it's something like this. Um, let's add some background first. Yeah, I forget we cannot add a background, <coughs> but we need to add some classes. Big primary, so it will become a blue. And let's add some text heading. This is just for example. Um, let's say to uh, let's set the text white. Text white? Why text white not working? Do I change the class? Uh, the the class name. Let's see where is that the framework. Color. Let's see the color. Where is the color? Okay, here. Ah, I need. I change text before it's a text and then the color text primary text formula light and and more but now uh yeah before is uh, text color and then but now it's only color primary eh no 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 color white okay cool and then let's set this to a hundred percent or a hundred of few for height. Okay, cool. And then oh, what else? Position is fixed. Do I have a class name for position? It's relative. I think I only add two. Ah, I need to add more. Fix, fix, fix. Oh, okay. Pause, fix, pause, fix. Okay. I will remember that. Okay, let's compile. And let's see. This fly eh. Post, where is the post? Post, post absolute. Okay, post picks. Okay, cool. And now let's see. Yeah, let's minimize. See, and I'm using the mini fiver uh, version. And let's see, do we have um post where is the post oh yeah post fix okay cool so let's um add post fix 
okay and then yeah and then we have the position fix and oh my god i forget i need to add some classes here so let's just uh, adding style here okay just like this hate hate yes a hundred view hate view for hate <coughs> and then left is zero do i have a css variable for zero now nah. space radius nah, okay let's let leave it Ah, uh, not zero, but a hundred percent negative. Okay, and then let's change this. Where is that? Where is that? And where do I change the height? Ah, this. Let's let's remove that. All right. Where is my mobile? Where is my mobile menu here? So when it click, then it should the left and uh, the left properties should change to zero. Yeah, something like this. We're gonna show since so if there is a class name show in the element with the DTK frame bar menu canal, then the left will change to zero. Okay, and we're gonna set the width or max width, max width to maybe a four RAM. Okay. Oh, ooh, nice. Yeah, but <laughs> see the, the transition <laughs> is really bad. I wanna let's see like this, okay? Let's see what the, the, C the CSS they use. Hmm. I think this, yeah. let's see. Oh yeah, this. Transition. Okay, let's, let's disable that. Yeah, I mean, that's it. So this is the CSS for transition. Anyway, the fix, the fastest way is, is just to copy and just, okay, just paste here. Ah, why I reload this page? Oh. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. I love it. Uh, why, why, why do what do, what do we have here? Why we have a scroll on the horizontal? But anyway, it's cool. Um, let's see. Let's change the color here. Hmm. Yep. It need to the Z index one Y. Ah yeah 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 yeah. Since I have not set the background for. Okay, let's see. The Z index should be um one zero negative one. Okay. Here is the background, okay. The background white, the biggie white, and then this. Hey, I need to put the zero for right now. I will use the negative value, but later I will fix it. 
I'm gonna me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add a uh, change the value of the Z index on header on the top bar here to maybe two or one, and then we can use the zero value of Z index on the mobile wrapper here. Okay, that's cool. Mm. Oh. Container, yeah, sweet. <laughs> yeah, we don't need a container here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will change it later. Since the container use max width, and you see, there will be overflow. Okay, so this is good. This is fine, I think. Yeah, something like this. I really love it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end this to this, uh, this video now. Since it's already already late, it's very very late in my place. And if you have something to ask or uh, some critic about uh, the content of the video, you can write on the comment box below. And thank you for watching and happy coding. Bye bye. See you.